Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Opened in 1987, this stadium's undergone many name changes over the years, but whatever they call it, it's always a beautiful location to play a college football game. Davis has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep to open up the ball game. Here we go, folks. And he's tackled at the 37. Kirk, one of the top backs in the country we get a chance to see today. Allen's big play of building makes him a threat to score really anytime he touches. I love this guy. And let's not forget about his big offensive line. This is a group that really prides themselves in opening up some huge holes for him. It's also going to be difficult to stop him and keep him out of the end zone because you think about it, he's known for his big plays, the home run ability. So if you can limit those big plays, you've got a shot at least at slowing him down. And he gets the ball 25, 30 times a game, and he'll probably get that again today. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Make the stop right around the 44 yard line. That makes it third and three. Hey, right, right, right. Four down, four down. Like the team. Like the team. And down he goes around the 43 yard line. They pick up a few yards there on the pass. And I'll tell you what, that fake handoff froze the secondary just enough to allow for the receiver to come up with a nice gain that time. Good call. Got it and brought down immediately. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. He makes it out to maybe the 36-yard line. No game on the play. That'll bring up third and two. call was the right one by the offense. I just think the defense made a better play. They seem to want it more here on this big third down. Offense comes up a little bit short to set up a fourth down, but give all the credit to the personnel on the defensive side of the ball. Running for the conversion, no good. And they'll fail on fourth down. That's a big time stop here by the defense. I know we're only in week one, but this defense looks like they're in midseason form. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. Nice run, and he's brought down. That's good to be in five minutes. That makes it second and six. Tackle made at the 50. So they get it out there for about six yards, and that's a first down. Short throws like this are very effective because they tend to wear down the defense over the course of a game, especially when they get you a first down and keep the offense on the field. Hand off, and he's met in the backfield. Excellent job by the defense to diagnose the play so quickly. This is really a well-coached unit. So it's second and 12. Ball on their own 48. The Owls saw one of their key guys go down earlier. It looks like he might be able to get back in the action. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five wide outlook. He's tackling at the 43 yard line. They come out in a five wide set. Now he tries to buy some time. 
He's pushed out of bounds around the 31-yard line. This is a pretty tough guy, and he's a great leader. He's going to do whatever it takes to help his team. Under pressure, they bring the quarterback down. So the sack makes this a second and long. Pulls it in and he's in the open field. Fires that quickly to the tailback. That's good for a gain of 10 yards. That'll bring up 36. Takes a hand off, tackled for a loss. It's fourth down, and they're going to try to go for it. Passes left, gets it out to the halfback. He's knocked out of bounds at about the 25-yard line. This is a fun game, and I think we're going to see a lot of interesting football before it's over. Throws complete. He's got room to work. They'll bring him down at the 41-yard line. Good job here by the receiver to look the ball in and ensure he had possession. That's the right way to catch a pass. From their own 41-yard line. First down. that quickly incomplete so at the end of one no score here that makes it second and ten even first quarter as we head into quarter number two Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 49. And he's tackled the 47 yard line. Williams is waiting for the snap. Calls for the fair catch. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum, so as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. There's a strike complete. He's out to the 30. Big opening! And he's shoved out of bounds at the 40-yard line. So they pick up quite a few yards on that play, Kirk. Well, that was an excellent route, and he did a great job of holding on to the football. That's a great tackle at the 44. That's a game of 16. Hey, hey, first down. Quick pass. He's taken down at about the 35. That brings up second and one. Tackle around the 39 yard line. He had nowhere to go on that option play. Boy, he's right. He's lucky he held onto the football there. 
about four yards away here on third down. On the catch. Oh, they strip it out. The punter is going to try to pin them deep in their own territory with a good punt here. And he's got to be happy with that punt, Kirk. Yeah, Brad, that was nice. And now they're looking at a long way to go to even think about a score. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Allen gets six yards on the play. They're about four yards away here on second down. It's on the ground. They fall on it. Close one there. Maybe the ball carrier will try a little harder to secure the ball next time. So that sack leaves them a little ways to go here. It's third down and 13. They're packed in tight on the line. Nice run up the middle. That'll bring up fourth and nine. Williams takes it at the 45, and down he goes at the 32-yard line. Not sure what the flag is about here. Let's go down to the field and find out. That one's going to put him way back. You just can't block a player from behind like that, or it's going to cost you. From the 47-yard line, first down. He lets it go. Finds the junior. Brought down at the 14-yard line. Quick throw to the back. It's incomplete. Someone's intended to see the play. It's second and ten. Ball on the 14-yard line. And he hits him hard at the 12-yard line. receiver on this play. He beat his man off the line and then ran a perfect route. All he had to do after that was make the catch. And he tacks on the extra point. So a four-play, 47-yard drive. And a touchdown's a result. The score now, 7-0. Davis has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep. He's to the 20. He's out to the 30. Tackle made at the 34-yard line. Miami's coaching staff, I've got a thing going into halftime, and we're getting close right now, Kirk. They've got to do something different. What they had planned with their star running backs just not working today. Well, I think the continuity between a coaching staff and a quarterback and an offense is tested. 
uh, their, their star players not having a great game. They're losing this football game. I think now as we're close to this half, now is when you start to think about what other ways can we attack this defense. And then maybe eventually we get back to our star running back. But in the meantime, let's try to find some other ways to attack to be able to put points up. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. That was a really nice play on the ball by the receiver for a substantial gain and a first down. Second time out of the half. Second down and six. Ball on the 39. Makes the catch and look out. And he's taken down at the 33. From the 33 yard line. Second down. And he is drilled at the three yard line. That was a beautiful pass play. And you can see why they like running this play. They have the potential to break one every single time they run it. Tight end's got another one. And they make the stop at the one-yard line. He's, he's, he's lucky, lucky. That brings up second and goal. We're at play number nine of this current drive. Touchdown, Kane. Great job of finding the space to run and just bursting in for six. Here's the PAT to tie this thing up. And he adds the extra point. Looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Smith from the two. Tackle at the 26. I give the defense credit, but right now I think it's more a case of sloppy offense. Yeah, you got to recognize that both defenses have come into this game with the right mindset, and they're very well prepared. But I'm with you. It's, it's one thing to have great defense. It's another thing when those defenses are going up against offenses that just are not clicking right now and hitting on all cylinders. throw out to the receiver incomplete so it's second and ten ball on their own 26 and they get nice yardage on that run summers gains around six yards on the run florida atlantic just took their first time out it out. Missed him. Manning was the intended receiver on that pass. That'll make it fourth down and they're going to have to punt. On third down the defense was expecting the pass and they defended the play very well in the second half. And we'll probably see how far he can throw it as it should be the last play before the half. Going deep. Lays it out there. Almost picked off. So at the end of the half we're even at seven in this one.
Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. So far, so good for both offenses in terms of taking care of the football, but now the defenses are ramping up the sense of urgency in terms of trying to get the ball back to their offense. Uh, absolutely, and you got to find Reese. These ball hawks on defense, they need to find the football. They need to make some big plays, create some turnovers. How about using that hit stick a little bit? How about knocking somebody silly and making them drop the football? I mean, defense's number one priority is trying to turn the football over, try to make a big explosive play for your offense so, so they can do more damage and they can take the ball down the field. So those ball hawks need to show themselves in the second half. Looking forward to seeing this second half. I think there's certainly a want for victory. A want and a need for victory. Some teams need this victory, Reese Davis. Want, need, got to go get it either way. Brad and Kirk are there to deliver. Great first half. Hopefully the second half is good. He'll return it from the four-yard line. He's tackled at the 29. Time's getting a little bit tighter now. You got to make every possession count. On the handoff, big hit, and he'll lose yardage. And he hauls it in. And he's level at the 38 yard line. Field. And he's finally knocked out of bounds at the 37-yard line. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. Second and 11 coming up now. Ball on the 38-yard line. Quickly back to the tight end. Tackle made at about the 37 yard line. James on the delay. He's tackled at the 40. The Owls had one of their key players go down earlier, but it looks like he might be able to get back in the lineup. Callahan is set back, ready to punt. He'll probably try to pooch this one into the corner. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. I think it says something about the quality of the preparation of both teams that we're into the third quarter and nobody's been able to pull away. Both sides seem to know what to expect. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. He makes his way to about the 28. It's second down and they're about two yards away from the sticks. He's to the 40, and down he goes, around the 44-yard line. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 44-yard line. Four down, four down. 
Catches it, and he's looking for more. And they push him out at the 47. to the back. Caught open field. He's out of bounds at the 14. Inside the 10. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 14. Picks up about four yards on the play. That makes it second and six. This is the eighth play of this drive. Roger, Roger. Four down, four down. Mike 15. Mike 15. Up the middle for a nice game. Man, it's always a plus if you're able to pick up the first down with the running game. There's a player down. I'm not sure what happened. First down. They've got the defense on their heels now. It's first and goal. Down Hurricane. The halfback just plowed his way into the end zone. Yeah, but it wasn't all him. The offensive lineman just pancaked the defense on that one. He makes the PAT. A nice nine play, 81 yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well executed touchdown drive. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He's to the 20. He makes it to the 18 yard line. The Hurricanes continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Tackle at about the 21. After a nice pickup. Fires quick out to the receiver and he can't make the grab. Strong showing by the defense. You always like to get the other team's offense off the field as fast as you can. The Hurricanes running back. He was injured earlier. You see him down there on the sideline and it looks like he's ready to get back in the game. Brought down at the 43-yard line. The Owls have really surprised everybody in this football game. They have not been intimidated at all, which is great to see. The attitude and effort of this team's put them in a position where they got a shot to win this game here in the second half. I was really impressed with their last series. They came out with a focus on the passing game, and the offense got the job done. We'll see if they have the same strategy here. Dawson on play action. Makes the grab and steps out right away. From the 41 yard line, it's first down. So at the end of the third quarter, the Hurricanes in front, 14-7.
Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. Miami is up by a touchdown. He gets out to about the 38-yard line. That's a gain of three on the play. That'll make it second and seven. From the 38-yard line, second down. Watch 15. Watch 15. Watch 15. Ready. Black. Nice. Hot. Fires out quickly to the tailback. And he's tackled around the 27-yard line. Four yards away here on second down. I got number 23. I got you, 23. 15, let's go. 15, let's go. Let's go. Martin off the left side. Brought down at the 22-yard line. That is a loss of one yard on the play. That'll bring up third and four. Man left, man left. He's on the run, decides to tuck it in, and he's got space inside the 10. They'll bring him down at the 5. Hoping to go up two touchdowns here. Miami is up 7. Converts the extra point. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Fielded at the four. And he's tackled at the 21. There's a flag down, and it looks like this one's coming back. Personal foul. Clipping. Clipping. Receiving, Receiving team. team. So they'll move back after that costly down. penalty, and they'll have to try to get that yardage back here. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. Here's a running play. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. The halfback picks up maybe five yards on the draw play. Fires it out. Ball is loose. Fumble. The 10. And he's taken down around the four-yard line. So it's the cornerback that comes up with a fumble, and this ball will change hands. Fumbles will absolutely drown an offense. It's hard to get into a rhythm when you make mistakes like that. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Just under three to go in regulation. Fires quickly, and they got it. Touchdown. Stepped up and threw a touchdown pass to his wideout. Yep, good job of protection, and the quarterback spotted his man. And he hits 
the PAT. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Caught at the eight. This one might be coming back, folks. Let's check out the penalty. Personal foul. Clipping. Clipping. Receiving, Receiving team. Clipping is the call, and now they'll have to find a way to make up those yards right here. Here comes the offense, hoping to erase the memory of the fumble on their last drive. The defense, I'm sure, will be aggressive again. They love going for the strip and attacking the football. Throws complete, and he's hit right away. Willis gains about four yards there. That makes it second and six. Steps out of bounds at the 19-yard line. Got a man. Watch out here. And they make the stop at the 24. Oh, well, we've got a player down, and let's hope that's nothing serious. Easy, easy, easy. Lucky, lucky. Fires quick to an open man. He dropped it. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 24-yard line. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. Here's a quick throw, and this one falls incomplete. <laughs> he threw that ball so hard, I don't think anybody wanted to catch it. And he's sacked. Sometimes it's just a relentless pass rush that results in a sack. That's what happened there. Clark awaiting the return. And he's taken down at the 48-yard line. So now the offense comes back out, hoping for the same success they had on their last drive. Well, it's one thing to have speed. It's another thing to have an idea of what you're doing and how to attack a defense. And right now, these wide receivers clearly have done an outstanding job in being able to make their reads and getting out of their breaks, and the quarterback puts the ball right on the mark. Second down and nine to go. Ball on the 47. He makes it to the 45-yard line. And the ball game's over. The Hurricanes come out on top, 28-7. That does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.